What's up fellow spectators, I'm Gianni Berzani and up next I'm going to be teaching you how to use the Elgato 4K 60S Plus. Alright spectators, so you want to learn how to use the 4K 60S Plus. Let's begin. The first thing you'll need is the power cable, the HDMI cable, the Elgato itself, the 4K 60S Plus, an SD card that you purchased separately, and even an adapter that you may need to use to plug in the SD card into your laptop, which I'm using the MacBook Air. And lastly, the PS5 or any game console that you have. So first, we're gonna take the Elgato and take the HDMI that you already have plugged into the TV and plug it into the import of the Elgato. Then, we're gonna take the HDMI that it comes with and plug it into the out port. And then the other end, we're gonna take it and plug it into the TV. Finally, what we have to do is take the power cord and plug it into the power slot of the Elgato, and then take the other end and plug it into an out. When it's ready, it should start having a little blinking dot right next to the slot where it says SD. And as soon as you see your game pop up on the screen, that means you're running your game through the Elgato and it's ready to record. So let's plug in the SD card in, and then you should begin to see a big dot. And when you're ready, you click on it, and then you see a circle that is flashing. That means it's recording. So now you can play any game, record it, do what you wanna do, make a dope video, and then when you're ready, you click the flashing circle, and as soon as it stops and you see this little red dot solid, you can remove the SD card and take it out and plug it into your computer. You wanna make sure that the dot stops blinking or you might corrupt your file. So now you take this little adapter that you purchased and you plug it in to your laptop. Then you can open up the file and watch your video. And whenever you're ready, you can put it into any uh, editing software that you'd like and you're ready to make a cool video. Thank you guys for sticking around to the end of the video. I hope you guys got a better grasp on how to use the 4K 60S Plus. So see you later, spectators.